So, like I said, in uh, this chapter, it's actually all Year 12 content. And what the uh, premise behind this is we want to just get you guys ready for Year 12 now. So that next year, because remember, this is the topic where a lot of people actually tend to fail. Um, because there's a lot of new words, a lot of new formulas. So in Year 12, when you do this again, it won't be as unfamiliar. Okay, but uh, just keep that in mind. Um, that it does get a little bit trickier, but again, if we've been able to do the the CFAT easily and pass that, and all the arithmetic stuff as well, you should be okay with this. Right? It's not that bad. But for this chapter, I think this is chapter 8b, we're going to look at uh, a review of what a sequence is and recurrence relations. We already know what that is. We also have a bit of a glossary happening. And terminology is as well going to be important because there's going to be a lot of new words. But again, because we've already learned most of it, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, simple interest um, decay model. So we've done a bit of this today. And we've also done a bit of geometric today. Actually, we didn't do any linear simple interest in the CFAT. But we did some geometric in the CFAT today. Okay, so I would say this shouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's go. Shh. So remember, guys, a sequence is basically just a list of numbers. Yeah, it's an ordered list of numbers, um, and they may or may not have a pattern. Okay. Some quick notation. Remember, V n just means um, the nth term. Really easy. N just means the term number. And for most financial problems now, so we're up to the second page. We're going to be using V zero. Okay. Um, now it says here. For, for only for financial applications, okay, it is most convenient to use a V0 for the first term. I would say instead of using first term for the starting term, okay, because people might think the first year is the starting year, but not necessarily. Like if you had a birthday, what is your age when you were born? Zero. So that's the start. But then what's your age after one year? You're one. Okay, so think of it that way. Okay, there's a difference between starting and and first so let's just use v0 as the first another way i oh, sorry as a start another way you might see or another um term you might see for v0 is initial value okay you might see that too um, i'll write another word here start okay so you might see it as initial or starting amount and then when it says vn let vn present the amount of money after something periods of time that just means you're going to use VN, or you might use TN, or PN, or CN. Just watch out for the letters they tell you to use. Okay, remember a recurrence relation is a rule that you use to generate a sequence. Okay, generally it's used to um, to tell you the next term. That's, that's another way of explaining it. And it's got two things. Okay, it tells you the initial value, so the V0, and it tells you the rule for calculating the next value. Generally... It's going to tell you what's the common ratio. That's what it's saying. Okay, what's the rule to get the next number? And using a sequence notation, this means that a recurrence relation has two parts. Yeah, you've got what's V0 and then what's Vn plus 1. Okay, those are the two parts. We well, you know that already, yeah? So what's the starting term and how do you get the next number? Oh, an example of that could be, I'll just say that now, V0 could be like uh, 3,000. And then VN, these are my commas, by the way, VN plus 1 could be VN times 1.3. So what does this tell you, guys? What's my initial value? And then what's my common ratio? 1.3. That's all it is. That's your com recurrence relations. Easy. Okay. Example, right? Calculation showing the first three terms of the sequences generated by each of the following. Okay. So we need to show our calculations here. So this is, again... Showing you working out. The long working out that Joseph, I keep telling, referring to him, but he's not here. But that working out that we need to show that Joseph mentioned before. So tell me the first three terms. Okay. Now it's first three. So that means this is not the first term. It's the starting term. So you've got to tell me the first three terms. So for A, we know that V0 is 117. Okay. To get the next term, V1, look at the recurrence relation. It's the current term plus 6. So we're going to go V0 plus 6. So that means V1 is equal to 117 plus 6. Therefore, V1 is 1, 2, 3. V2, I'm just going to skip some working out, will be uh, V1 
Okay, plus six. Actually, I'll just show it all. So V2 should be one, two, three, plus six. V2 must therefore be uh, one, two, nine. And then V3, again, show you full working out for this, yeah? Um, but I'll, I'll actually, I won't skip any. Yes? Yeah, so I was going to say you could just technically go one, two, three, or one, two, nine plus six. I, I would kind of accept that, but in year 12, I'm not entirely sure because I've never taught year 12. I'm not sure what they expect in the exam. So I would just safely go with showing your full working out, just in case. I'm just going to ask, is this going to be on one? Yes, it's already on one note, so if you're a bit behind, that's okay. Okay, that's A part one. A part two, um, si uh, similar, but instead of adding, what are we doing, guys? Look at it. You are multiplying. multiplying. So what kind of sequence is it? Starting with G, it's geometric. Okay, so that's a geometric sequence. So I'll do the working out for it. So always start off by writing down the initial value. So 20,000. And it's 0.5. So this is easy. I'm sure we can work it out in our head. W1 will be W0 times 20,000. Notice how I did flip it around, but that's okay. Okay, as in I'll put WN in front and this to the right, but that's okay. Okay, I prefer it this way. I don't know if you prefer it this way, but I like it this way. You don't have to do it this way. Oops, sorry. Times 0.5. My bad. Yeah, yeah, no. It's the common ratio. How come no one caught me out on that? Jeez. Times 0.5. 10,000. So what's happening? It's just halving or multiplying by 0.5 each time. Would be W1. So this is how we show the full working out times 0.5. So W2 should be uh, 10,000 times 0.5, which will be 5,000. And then W3 would be W2 times 0.5. W3 would be equal to uh, 5,000 times 0.5, which means that W3 is 2,500. Easy. Okay, part B, write down a recurrence relation for the following sequences. Uh, I feel like, okay, that's why this guy uses so much paper. Okay, that's good though. Okay, so part B, I can see, actually, let me write this all here. Oh, technology, so good. What? Look at that. Genius. Okay. So, what's the recurrence relation for the first one, guys? Maybe maybe if you can work out um, the wh whether it's arithmetic or geometric, that's where I would start for these questions. Okay? So, looking at the question, and also we're going to use V0. Okay? Instead of V uh, term 1 or term 2. Yeah? We're going to use V0 from now on. So, for the first one, what's V0? 10, yeah? This one's 10. And how do you get the next term? So Vn plus 1 is equal to Vn. Now, is it a geometric or is it arithmetic? Arithmetic. Okay, it's adding 5 each time. So it's going to be Vn plus 5. Okay, that's the first one. Number 2. Okay, it's 1, 2, 4, 8. So V0 is 1. So Vn plus 1 because Vn. Okay, let's think. It's going to go 1, 2, 4, 8. Is it adding or is it multiplying? What's happening? Multiplying by what? Good. So it's going to be Vn times 2. Well done, peeps. Part 3. Oh, yep, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, always use V0. Yeah, not V1 from now on. Only for the financial questions. Yep. Yeah? So this is 31. Okay, and to get the next term, Vn plus 1, it's going to be Vn, and is it arithmetic, geometric? What do we see? It'll be arithmetic, so it's going to be minusing or adding. Now, I can see that it's going down each time. What's it going down by? 3. 3, so it's Vn minus 3. So that's my recurrence relation for that. 
And then for part four, I can see this one is V0 of 4,000. And VN plus one. Okay. This is a tricky one, um, but it's going, it's not adding. I can definitely tell it's not adding. Also, it's not subtracting either, but it is decreasing by a certain amount. And it's different each time. Can anyone calculate it in their head? What's the common ratio? Good. 0.25. Okay. This is where your quick math comes in. Okay. 4,000 to 1,000 to 250 to 62.5. It's going down by 0.25 each time. Cool. Easy. All right. So just keep in mind from now we will use V0. Okay, instead of T1. All right, so this is some stuff now. In we, If you remember last year, we actually didn't do financial maths. Anyone remember that? We didn't do any financial maths. Because what financial maths connects to is recursion. But in, in saying that, there are some aspects of financial that we'll use in recursion. So when you see the word loan, okay, it just means money that you borrow. And this is actually something that you'll use in the real life. I wish I learnt this back in high school because I never did. When you get a loan for your house, okay, you need to understand this kind of stuff because banks will generally try to make you borrow as much money as you can so that they'll take, uh, pay you, uh, they'll, you'll pay them a lot of interest, okay, which I only learnt about when I got a house, which is like, which I really hate. Interest is the worst, people. So, yeah, learn this investment. Okay, this is um, something that's really good, is when you put money in the bank, okay, or you put money in the future, and it makes interest for you, okay? Balance just means, what is the current value, how much do you have in the bank at the moment, after a, a certain number of years, okay? Principal is how much you started with, the initial amount, okay? Interest is the amount that you either have to pay the bank, or the amount that the bank pays you. Okay, or the amount that your uh, the car depreciates by, or the amount that the car increases by. Okay, so it's the amount that you're paying or that you're um, losing. Okay, so for example, in here, what we're going to do is just fill in the blanks. Okay, this one here, you borrow five hundred thousand from the bank to buy a house. The interest rate is five percent per annum, calculated at the end of each year. So, if you're borrowing money. Is it a loan or is it an investment? Good, it's a loan. So I'm going to write that. <clears throat> so balance at the end of the first year. So you borrow 500 from the bank. How much is the amount at the end of the year? And according to this, the interest rate is calculated at the end of each year. So how much is the balance at the end of the year? Well, it's 5%. Of this, as in you're increasing it by 5%. So, without me calculating it, or without um, using your calculator, what are you going to multiply it by if it's going to be an increasing? 1.05. Yeah, the R value would be 1.05. It's increasing by 5%. So, if we go 1.05 times the 500,000, so 500,000, this is going to be heaps of interest, 1.05. So at the end of the year, that's how much you'll owe the bank. 525000 which is a lot of money. Okay, so much money. Principles, how much money did you start off with? 500000 good. Yes? There's a question about money here. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't put the dollar sign. sign then like, um, I would, I would, no, not necessarily, but it's probably a good idea too, anyway, because you're working with money. But will you lose your marks? I probably won't. No. But in year twelve, they might. Who knows? Okay. Yeah, 12, yeah. Keep that in mind. Um, okay, interest in the first year. So how do we calculate interest? Remember, interest is the extra amount that you've paid on top, or the extra amount that you've gained. So if you have a look at it, guys, how much interest did we pay? 25,000. That's a lot of money. That's like a whole year's worth of working at Macca's. It's like your um, wedding, basically. It's basically, more, my wedding was more than that. <laughs> a lot of people, man. YouTube's going to hear this, but there were 180 people. And we spent, oh my gosh. That's not that many people. Spent a lot of money. 
Sorry? Maybe. Oh, really? Maybe. All right. Shh. Can we see this? Just wait, just wait. Shh. Quiet, quiet. Yes, Fatima. Shh. To get. That works too. But shh. the easiest way, listening peeps, to get the interest. So think of interest. Basically, remember how much extra you've paid. All you do is what's the current value? Take away how much did you begin with? That's how you calculate the interest. You just minus them from each other. That's all it is. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. All right. You deposit twenty grand into a new uh, in superannuation for you when you when you retire. The interest rate is five percent per annum. Okay. So let's think. This is. I'm going to highlight the key information. You deposit twenty grand. Um, interest rate five percent per annum. Calculate end of each year. Okay, so is this a loan or investment? Investment. In investment. So if I were you, I would start investing in your future and just save some money. Balance at the end of the first year. So calculate the balance. So if it's twenty thousand, and you're being, you're being paid five percent per year, what's the common ratio? One point zero five. Good. Without thinking of it in your head, one point zero five. So Calculate that, 20,000, 1.05, 2,100. So at the end of the first year, 21,000. Principles, how much did you begin with? 20,000. Easy. And then what's the interest? So just minus them from each other. Yeah, you gained one grand, 1K. How much Toria makes in a year? Cool. All right. That's basically it for that, guys. Any questions? Pretty straightforward, yeah? Nothing too hard. I'll stop there.